Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Neil Aus and we are up to episode 12 of our Let's Play. And look at this beautiful yellow science going here. And there are no biters anywhere in my sight, so I should be safe to proceed with this game today. And that's what we're going to do. So, um, you know, yellow science, not really doing much if we just put it in a box here. So while we put it in the box, we have some things to do. What we need to do is a good throwback to my first series. One of the cool first things I built that um, that people loved was the polar hub. So we're going to do a polar hub again because, hey, if something works once, we're going to do it again. Except this time we're going to make it even more awesome. So uh, because this time I actually know what I'm doing. Well, yeah, kind of, at least. So this one will get blue and red and yellow and purple and green, but we don't have those. So that's what we are going to do. Let's see. Um, I want to see here. So what is it we want? We need to make. We need to make what? What? Um, so I could make it here. I think that might be good, right? Yeah, that one. And then we can make it. The longest that oh come on we are we out of power again why are we just out of power all the time ah all right well it is what it is see that's not that's no good that's no good then maybe during this one oh okay hold on i can build it there and i can build it there but I don't think, because one of the things that's going to happen is that I'm going to bring these out here on this side. So that's going to collide with that one, which is not good. So I actually want to build it on the intermediates instead. So what about we do, yeah, something like this. Is that on track? It's not on track at all. One more. There. That one, yeah? There, and that's just, just obviously way too many. So I'm gonna take half of them out. It's just easier to take them out in this way so we know we get the pattern right. All right, so I have now eight around the, oh, that seems pretty good. I'm not gonna build them all the way up just yet, but we, uh, we will do it. And again, okay, so I am going to have five outputs on this and I'm gonna have outputs like this. And actually maybe, That one will be here. I'll have one here. This will get the greens. And then I'll have the yellows here. And then this one will have to be two. So what do we have of options? I have an option right there for the yellows, or reds, sorry. And another option that goes on this path for the blue. So that's gonna be my objective. I want to have this will be the yellow, so I want the yellow to be closest, like so. Now this is going to be super complicated in, in terms of uh, going over and under, but we'll uh, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll find a way to get that. So that's going to be the first thing. The first thing is the yellow one goes out here. It would be nice if I could actually start requesting. No, no, because then I'm going to end up with tons of those in my inventory, but still it would be nice. Uh, wouldn't it be nice actually? Yeah. Also, our red and blue sides is just this temporary thing that we have to clean up. That's going to be the other part. We're going to build the polar hub and we're going to build something else. So this one is going to be, this should be pretty straightforward as well. This is just going to be uh, like all the way around here. All good. And, oh, it's going to be so, oops. Oh yeah, this is now the problem. So how are we going to go over here? Now, I think that I want to, you can see I can do, I can go down here and then go up. I could do something like this. Okay, but definitely not that one. Definitely this one. And then go down again. 
and that would be okay, but I don't think it works for this one. Because this one will now have to go... Oh, that's the... And that one, and then this is going to be the tricky, the tricky part. Like, how are we going to do this? Because I will... Hold on. I'll need to get one input there, there, and then... Oops, from there. And then we have our shoes with uh, going up. So that's not really working, but that's, it's fine. I'm sure we can do it. What if we did this thing? Wow, this is weird. Here, and then I, I take this out and then I bring it down again. So what I have now is half height belt, looking good. And then I can get that in here. So we want to have half height belt here if uh, we can get away with it. So let's uh, do that. So the way to do it, I'm also kind of doing this because it's it's a bit quirky to do and then you'll see how that's done if, in case you were wondering. And how small is the belt there? So we build it up all the way up and then I delete this, delete this. So now it's only halfway up this one. Then I just drag it down again. But now I have two at half height. I'll delete this one again. And now I have three at half height. And it just looks really good. And you can also do it like so that there's only one at half height, but I don't think that looks quite as good. If I'm doing this, let's try that. Funny how I just cannot place it anywhere. Let's just try showing what it would look like and yeah. Yeah, this doesn't look so good. Uh, another really important thing about this one is that it only works if you have built the one underneath first. So make sure you do that. Here, here, here. Let's take that one out and then go down. Remove this and then it merges in. So half height, three at half height and then it looks really nice, I think. And uh, that means we have now solved all of our all of our problems here. Well, I mean, not all of our problems, but all of our problems related to these belts. And then I might as well do the same one for the other one. This one can go out on right here. One, two, and that one. This one is now. Hmm. Oh, this is complicated to do that. There, that is the closest thing you can get. Three wide, looking good. And that will be, hmm. Let's see what that one is. This is, this is gonna be the green then. Okay, so I want the purple one closer. Let's do it again. That should help get anyone, everyone comfortable with how this is done. Out, 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 and then get that in here. So I can in, oh, no. Now I need to build this, otherwise it doesn't work. There! It's a bit of a hack, and I think that this might be one of those things that uh, when their blueprints are coming along, this thing won't be allowed. Because that's... That, it seems a bit of a weird hack. But anyway, it is what it is. And here. This one will now also... This is going to be the green ones on the outside, so let's get that. And then here. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. It has to be sort of following on, and then it works. And now we just need to get all of this around here. And then we also have it prepared for the green science, red and purple science and green science, because if you build this, we have to work it for all of it. Of course, it doesn't work for the white science, but because then by the time we need the white science, we won't be needing the other sciences anyway. So that's kind of kind of redundant. Then I can just change all of this to make the white science and then the white science will be the output. So at this point, what are we going to do? Oh, whoa, not quite done yet, is it? Oh, this is going to be so nice. And what I need to do now is I need to obviously set in some power there. 
there. This is purely for geometric reasons that I built so many of them. And I'll be doing that. This one will be doing the science labs. And I'm going to get in, in. Super important that it's like the other one. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, uh, I forgot this. Maybe build these first. They will also make sure that I can't accidentally be make them correct. I'm going to build this in slow motion, not time-lapsing it. First of all, it's not really that much that needs to be done. But secondly, it also allows you to sort of follow along if you want to build it together with me like this. Because it's so awesome. This is really the only way to make power. To make to make this and that one. Oh, check that out. Come on, drones. Ah, man, it's gonna be so nice when the drones get better. They will be better very soon. So as soon as we have this one operational here, then what we'll do is we will We'll take all the reds and the blues that we already have created and just put it in here for a starter. While we will then retool the blue and the red signs so that it's just a proper build. All right, that one goes over there and I need one more going over there. There we go. You're going to go out and be replaced by this one. So are you. Oh, did I? Okay, well, that was, that was not clever. Let's get that one done, and this is the one that, yeah. Oh, it is, it is working here. This is the starter one, the one that kind of was struggling here a bit, and power. So we now have power for everything. Of course, we still don't have enough power. This is really bothering me. And how is that, actually? Oh, right. It's um, the reason why we don't have power is because our here is so pathetic. Getting this to... This is actually something that will, to a large extent, be fixed by getting better receivers and also taking them out from some other places. I think that's good. Let's build it all the way up here. Oh, there's no way I have enough. All right, let's get back to our hub. Get some more of these. Where are they? Where's my hub? Oh, right, it's the South Pole I'm looking at. And the hub is closer to the North Pole. There it is. Middle one? Nope. That one. 50? Yeah, 50 looks seems to be about right. Build these beautiful towers. Just stack them up as high as you can, and they'll uh, when you get more upgrades, they'll stack higher. There, but this already looks absolutely amazing. Ah, funny how they don't even have to build them in sequence. Okay, <clears throat> let's get some drones put in here and make sure that they only go out if there's a full stack. Yep. Then I will be making sure that I'll take 5,000. Demand, no supply. Demand, no supply. And this one will actually do something. Yay, it'll go out. Sending out just a flurry of these and that'll get us just the first one inbound. Which will hopefully look good. Yeah, so there's this it's hard to do five things symmetric, as in impossible. And what I need to do is then, I'm just gonna see the red, yellow ones coming in. Oh man, that's so slow. But then, oh yeah, it's also really fiery. So screw that, we don't need to do that. We need to go find our temporary oil thing. I have no clue where, it's, oh, it was actually backwards. Okay, we'll just go all the way around, that's faster. I don't know if it is, but. Come on. There it is. Nope. Further along. This is our old hub. Someone needs to clean that up as well. See, this is what I was looking at. We need to make sure that all of this gets uh, taken out. So, let's start killing some of this part. So that we at least don't create any more. This one. And then, put it in here. Uh, 
and I guess that one also goes up. And the blue. There. So that is good. And this one will continue to work for just a while longer, but not very much longer because I have completely re removed all of this part. So it's not working. It'll just build whatever is remaining here, but then that's going to be it. And they will be building out here. These are going to go out. And now it's... Now I need to clean this out, this part out, but I don't, I don't want to clean this part out. This has to go and it has to continue to work for a while longer. But most importantly, will absolutely be the fact that I need to retool that. So we need to, well, what am I saying? We do have already some red and blue signs. So we're going to use the red and blue signs that we already have just to kickstart our science production. We're going to go up here and then have a look at how awesome it is. And they will go in here. That one. That one. And then some of these will just be shift delete, shift delete. I don't want to carry those around. And this looks beautiful already. And now it's time for us to enable the science. So what are the most important things for us to do in terms of science? So if we want to look at the different ones, there are a number of upgrades here that I want, such as this is really important because that allows us to get deuterium and that's one of the key things we want moving forward. And in order to do that, this one requires some accumulators. Accumulators are here. Accumulators require diamonds. Super magnetic rings are always awful. And stellar parts transmission, this one is also kind of good. Down here, we have like all the signs working towards the information matrix, which is what we need for warpers and also towards the lenses, which is what we need for the first warpers to go to another planet. And that's kind of what we want to focus on. But right now, none of that matters very much because we're not going to build any of them right now. So what we really want is the mecha core and its starting update. And from there, can we get that? No, nope, not yet. Ah, oh, man, the power, the lack of power and then after we get the mecha core, we can go that one to go faster. We can go mecha sails so we can fly faster in space. Then we get more drone speed and I get more drones as well. Can't get more here. I can't get more here, but that's really nice. And this one is mecha level four. Then what will actually really help us in terms of power will be getting solar sail upgrade, getting efficiency. I know we can get many of them, but one more thing that's going to be super important is actually unlock drone flight speed that means we can bring stuff in faster right now our solar sails are actually capped not by the launching speed but by the construction speed of solar sails because we are so constrained by the glass we have and therefore also logistics carrying capacity would be nice uh, we can get vein utilization you know all of these things there we go so that's a lot of things we now can do. And while all of this is checking along, because I think the personal upgrades are by far the most important ones, making us able to build faster, I am going to look for... Oh, that's actually perfect because it's right here. Also, by the way, now that we are working on this, it's also time to make this wine red because this is now something we're working on and we want things to look the right color. So gradually you will see me either on or off camera just gradually making the planet more and more purple, uh, more and more wine stain colored. Good. All right. So all of this has been working. Let's uh, use the new this function here, the group function, and go blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of supposed to happen, isn't it? I love that. Uh, these are junk, and oh, this is shift here to junk it. And what we yeah this one is shift junk whoa and boop <laughs> it's funny and that one as well and that one, and that one, that one, that one. I don't want any of these things. And that one. And then kill everything on the ground. 
All right, so this one's not working. We have to redo this. And what I want to do is I want to keep this intact as much as possible. But there's just so many bad things about this. So I'm just going to start by killing most of it. Uh, this one, these are empty. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Now I need to go away from this because it's a bit extreme. So what I can do here is, and this is also super important. Uh, I'm just not, never learning, am I? Never learn. There. 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 And, you know, just put in the rest here. Cool. That one can go over here. But I can then do upgrades, but I only want to upgrade not the sorters, but only the belts. So let's do that. So now this is this belt can easily handle all of what we have here. That is fine. Not a problem. We can leave this as it is. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure that we get a splitter. Let's do a splitter. I suppose we'll do this here. So what is this going to split? Here. This one will split to graphite. There we go. Oh, I don't know. I got a new research. That's fine. So this goes in here, but I also want to make sure that it always has enough buffer. So I'm going to build it something like this. And then make sure that we can buffer the graphite. I just want these to always work. Well, not always work, but yep, yeah, always work. Nope, don't build it inbound, build it outbound. Really? Okay. In, in, in. Out, out, out. Yes. And the last one isn't working. So be it. Build one more. Now, the other part is going straight over here straight in there straight in there the one thing we don't have is the hack oh no this one oh no this is actually has to be removed redone as that actually maybe not here oh more drones oh is that just drone speed let's build it all the way over there uh no it was just drone speed yeah they're faster so the idea here is take all of this out and put it in there and now take that out oops mm. yeah yeah that look good get that in get this in here and then the last one is the hydrogen fuel. And I need to pick up stuff from the ground. What? I have 20 litter? Still? How do I have so much litter on the ground? Don't need that one. Don't need that one. I did not mean that. Here, that one. The best way to pick up litter is to go out, zoom out like this, and then we got all of it. Perfect. And you're going in here. And then I can take all of this back again. And this one goes out. So, they are getting somewhere. Alright, so one more thing that I can do here. I can actually request just a tiny bit of this. 200. Oh no. Put it in here, put it in here, but you need to there and it'll be supply, but it'll be only 200. Yes. Why? Well, because it needs to go in. And then I'm, I feel so stupid about how I'm building this. Let's think about it. It could be built much, much better, couldn't it? Yeah, it could. What if this one was going out like that? That would be so much better because that would allow me to build on the inside such as this and then i'll build you're going to get 
Oh, I hate steam overlay. Why do I have steam overlay here? And... Okay, let me think. I need hydrogen. That goes in here. I wonder if this is going to be one of those that can't be inserted. Nope, it can. And this one will be hydrogen fuel. There we go. And then it needs titanium. That one. And then it needs to go back. In and out. And one more power pole next to this. And that should really be all there is to it, right? This one should not be 1700, but it should be 200. I get this, I get this, I get this. There we go. We have done it. And all I need to do is make sure that I have this part. Of course, that's too much. And that one as well. So this just needs to go. That means this can now be available for our red science build. And we've cleaned up all the rest of it. So we now have space. Let's queue up some more science. I think I want to focus on these things here. To get this up as much as possible. There. If I do that, then I have doubled the, the capacity of it. Build that. And that's pretty good. Right. So now, <clears throat> the one thing that we do not have is actually enough stone. But I think that stone will actually... Okay. So let, let me explain what the problem is with the solar panels. I think. This is just my hypothesis, but let's see if it uh, pans out. So where's my solar panel build? Uh, it's close here. This one is making solar panels. It actually isn't, but it should be. It's not because it's missing the photon combiner. Photon combiner is all the way to the south. South here. Photon combiner. We don't have it because we don't have prisms. Prisms are built sort of somewhere on the middle here. And just need to figure out which one it is. I think it's that one. Nope then it might be another one. That one. Yes. So this one's making prisms. But it's not making prisms because it's not getting enough glass. Here I make glass. Not getting enough glass because I'm not getting enough stone inbound. So I need more stone inbound. Why are we not getting enough stone? All these out because they can only take 25 each. So it's 50 outbound coming in here. That's the bottleneck. And that means if I get faster and more capacity, I can get twice as much inbound and even more and that might just be enough to keep it going otherwise we'll have to build glass at some other location and then bring it in let's actually see if that's an option not right now but it should be an option what about this one uh you have 11 million stones that's maybe a good idea to bring in glass from that location huh we can do that but first we uh we are not stable in our power supply so what i need to do is i need to find a place for us to build the, sci the science build. And that is not working. Yes, yeah, so let's find the yellow science. Where's the yellow science? It's over here. And then next to the yellow science, we should have a bit of room if I kill that one. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, okay, let's keep making mistakes then. If I make mistakes, then at least I should be consistent and, and make more. Right? And... Here. I don't... What? I don't have... I don't have soil pile! <gasps> the horror! I don't have soil pile! Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let me see. That is not great. Ah... Uh. All right, let me grab some soil pile and from one of the other planets and then we'll be back. All right, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Now we're over here on the second planet. Third planet, actually, just too nasty, is the planet name. And it has a lot of stone as we looked at before. So when I was over here, just leveling a few mountains, getting my one million, one million soil pile, I just like, you know, it would be nice if someone had created some stone for us, right? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's request a bit of stone and make it and then we'll request it back to Vichu where we are going now. Because it's just well stone into glass. It's just annoying that we are not we're running out of glass. Uh, because we need this we need Wunderchutter to be shooting, shooting, shooting at the star, at poor old Saint Cabbage, putting some solar rings, solar sails in orbit. And now we're going back. So what I need to do is find our import hub. 
Also, I would imagine our power is actually stalling now. Um, whoops, import hub, import, import hub. Technically, don't even need to fly there, but you know, it's good. Import hub is further over this way. Okay, I, I'm completely lost. Now we've been all the way around, for sure. There it is. It's right behind me. Right there. Uh, there's uh, some input here. There's some input here. That one. We'll be getting some... No. Some glass. Request. Alright, get that in there. That'll help. And also I'm requesting electromagnetic turbines from that location as well. All right, so what I uh, was doing here, I was uh, bemoaning the fact that I did not have any any landfill, and I do that now. And let's find, oh, it's, is it here? Yeah, it is here. I need to find a yellow, and there was right next to the yellow, I wanted to make the red, oops, here. And also all of this mess that I still have on the ground here, and not orange, but the custom color there. And then I'll build it. Let's see. Do I really want to build? I, th I think it's better to do it like this. Right. So what this also will do, this will make reds from hydrogen and there. And it's also going to provide some, some of that here. Because that otherwise it just doesn't make any sense. And that will be here. And then let's get some of our... Whoa, I, I don't have any... Any belts left. Let's go find the belts. The belts are here. Take half of those. Okay, and power is low, low as well. Yeah, it should be better. It should get better. This one... Mm, I'll just build two lanes here. So that's more drone capacity. Of course, science will be stalling very soon because I'm not bringing in, I'm not making any more blue or red science. So of course, it's it's gonna run out at some point. There, this one's done, and then I can go out here. Well, there's not much. Where are we at on this? I guess this is... Oh, right. It's just a lot. <laughs> it's such a silly way of doing this. I love it that it sucks it in and then it bounces out again afterwards. Get it in. Should be no more than 5,000. There. There. Everything, every litter is now picked up. Great. This one's providing. And these are now in input. I'll be building 5,000 of this. I'll be requesting 5,000. And I'll be requesting 5,000. And I also definitely need to get some more drones. Because I don't have any drones. And where are the drones? Drones. That's the one part I don't really... I haven't really figured out a good solution to this. Like, how do I figure out what's in each... In each of those locations? And naming them is not an option. Okay, I am going to build... A very simple build here. It will be... Right there. That means I am going to get from here. That's going to be one input. We'll go out. I Im imagine it like this, and then... Yep, and then go back to the other side. Let's build this. This one will make the reds. And I will get some power pole, power pole, and... Oh, no. That one. And that needs to be just copied. I feel that this is too close. That one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six. That should be good, and I will get these. I can make them as tall as I like, but I actually want to make sure that these are producing at eight, six seconds, so these should only be three high. Kind of silly, isn't it? But it, it matches that one, so I can sort of see how many I have and then get out. So let's change this one. Supply. No demand. Supply. They are actually the other way around. So they will be coming in, and that will mean that we are going to make some more some more red cubes here. That's good. And the blue cubes, uh, they are kind of bad place. Uh, we should be able to... Oh, we'll, we'll just uh, replace this. This is a bad build anyway. It's starving because when we're out of power, what is the best thing to do? Remove your power plants. Best way to... Look at this crappy location. There's no fuel or anything. Seriously. What the hell? Pave the world. There we go. That's a good place to build it. There we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, that's definitely not correct. That one. That's interesting how I misplaced it. There. There. These are not correct. Don't care. That's not what I'm gonna I'm here for. I am here for that one. And I'm gonna build a very small one for blue. This one will be blue, and blue requires this, and this, and then I'll also make, take this stuff that I have here. Yep. And I will build the same power structure here that we have already. I'll build it over here. Blue. Oops, there's so few of them. And I will be up. Oh. Coils and circuits and return. And these don't really have to be very, very tall either, these towers. So, since this is on a three second cycle, then I need half as many. And one, two. That one should be good. I'm going to be making 5,000. I'm going to request 5,000. I'm going to request 5,000. And I'm going to get some drones in. There. That was not a lot of this inbound. There. And I will be getting demand, demand, no supply. Good. That will also allow us to get some more of this. I'll be building this two up. So this will again be three per second. Of course, granted, power is absolutely abysmal. And that is something we know. We only have 700 here. So that is what we really need to focus on. And uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we need to stop our science production for just a while uh, while doing uh, this. But that's something I can do just between sessions because that's, it's kind of boring. Uh, but anything, anything else here that's good, what we want to do, we definitely need more power. That's, that's pretty obvious. But what I was really hoping for is that if with additional power, uh, let's see. Okay, so the idea here is let's look at... As a, sort of rounding it off, this one. This one is now getting enough. It's getting enough of these things. So that's good. It's working. And of course, everything I have here is being produced. That's okay. But it's being produced up by this giant build. Which is almost keeping up. Almost. Not entirely, but almost keeping up. Here, these ones are being shipped off to the other planet. There is just one leaving right now. There. I was just flying out of the picture. That means we are getting more of these and the, and the 
speed by which we're building it, it's getting better. So I am now curious to see, and I'm just gonna fly over there because we are curious about it on Undertale and I think I have another idea why things are not working. We'll just uh, go check check it out as well. I think we're over overdrawing our Dyson Sphere on some of these planets that don't really have a point in overdrawing it. Like this one. Like power is absolutely amazing, but I'm way overdrawing it from this. Let's have a look if that's... Oh, first of all, this one is not enough. Okay, so we have an issue in terms of the, pr the supply here. Now this one, you can see how much we're overdrawing with, and each of these is reserving 25 in uh, up here, and that's just too much. So what I could do, should do, is basically take every other one. Remember, this was taking 2.1 something, right? Gigawatts. And if I just take these out, I don't need this power on this planet, so there's no need to have these steal the power from the Dyson Sphere. Oh, that one looked dwarf. That one really looked off, doesn't it? Huh? There. Only once we've gone all the way around will we check. Okay, so let's check how much. Now we're only reserving 1.77. That means each of those get a higher percentage. That means now I'm actually, by doing this, I'm releasing more power back on the original planet, on, on my home planet. That's really good. And if this one would just happen to be getting in here, that would be lovely. How much drained are we? We're not actually drought draining. Okay, this one is. And let's see. Okay, so here comes some more. Maybe I don't f prioritize these, but just so it's go 50 50. Yeah, it's not really a lot that goes in here. There you go. That's how I remove it. Okay, and here. This one should be increasing, both by the fact that the lifetime is now increased and will continue to increase. And once I get all of these up and running, that one can't. That's all. That's queued. This one is queued, 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 queued. Okay, so they're all queued up. And then the next thing we want to do is get better ray transmission, get longer lifetime, get better lifetime. Because if there's more lifetime, then they stay up there. This means there's going to be more things in more solar panels in orbit, and each of those will be doing more efficient. If you have no idea how the ray receivers work, I have a tutorial on that on my channel and it actually goes through how it works because it's super complicated to be perfectly honest uh, but it is uh, it's it's a really nice way so there's just each of them reserves some power but then only some of it gets transit transmitted in depending on the strength and the continuous load and all of that things it's so many weird things that co uh, conspire so we are going to wrap this one up i am going to of course go back to our first plan we are going to absolutely watch our science to see if things are working. Well, it is working, but it's not working much. We can consume the science way faster than we can produce it. So that's good, generally. And at this point, if I just complete the rest of the science, which I'll be completing between sessions, then it should be much better. So here we have still. There, I can build these. It's not much, but it's something. And this one will now get it's now 182, 1.82 gigawatts out of 742. This 742, as you can see, it's going up to 743. And we're now getting like small bursts of science coming in. It's all good. And uh, we will, next time when we come back, the power will have stabilized. We have all the science researched and we can sort of move on to the next, which is getting off this planet in a more longer term because that's what we need for, for just this, the continued expansion because we're running out of iron in this location anyway it is time for me to wrap up i hope you have enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this uh, neat design of of the polar polar hub and uh, i'll see you guys next time until then take care and as always stay effective